Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and you didn't think I forgot about you, did you? I know my framing's a little off right now. We, uh, let's just say there's been a lot of recording done today that you will see in the next handful of days, but, uh, we have three big stories to bring to you, but before we do, I want to remind you, we are still giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. All you need to do is subscribe. I mean, this thing right here, this, you see this? We're giving away this, this white Switch OLED. We're giving one away. Um, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. Otherwise, um, we have a live stream going on tomorrow where we're going to announce the winner. So today and tomorrow are the last two days to enter. Now, I mentioned we have three stories for you, and the very first one uh, deals with the Game Awards. That's right, Jeff Keighley has announced the date of the Game Awards. It's happening December 9th, and it will be back to being in person. Um, he hasn't noticed, said if vaccinations are going to be required to attend, but it will be in person, uh, and that's really exciting. Not really surprising since Summer Game Fest was mostly in person as well. Uh, so this should be a pretty good event. Uh, the Game Awards is always exciting. Bayonetta 3 was announced there. We've had trailers for Breath of the Wild in the past there. So who really knows? Nintendo usually brings something to the Game Awards every single year. Uh, and we'll have to see what that something is this year. And obviously, what awards they're up for and uh, what other companies have going on. You know, what's Sony and Microsoft and Ubisoft and all these other companies that have going on um, heading into 2022. I guess we'll find out at the Game Awards. Uh, speaking of third-party companies, uh, remember that old rumor? It's not really that old at this point, but remember Ko Kotaku told us that Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Remastered was coming to Switch. Never announced, wasn't at the Nintendo Direct. Some people thought maybe it just wasn't a real thing. Well, in Korea, it has now been rated by their ratings board, which means anytime a game is rated for a platform by a ratings board means the game was submitted to that ratings board to be rated for the platform. So yeah, this is essentially confirmation that Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Remastered is coming to Nintendo Switch. So yeah, that's that, that's really good. I know a lot of people were hoping this was going to be confirmed after the Nintendo Direct. It wasn't. Now we have it confirmed through a ratings board. I honestly don't know how these companies submit games to the rating boards before they even officially announce versions of games for certain platforms. I don't even know how that happens. It kind of takes some of the luster out of the announcement. It's one thing to have like Kotaku rumor it. It's another thing to actually have something more official like a ratings board. So it is what it is. It's pretty exciting. I'm not a big Grand Theft Auto guy myself, but I know a lot of you guys are. So this is really great news since we don't have any Grand Theft Auto games right now on Switch. Our last story is really the main reason we made this video. There, I, there was a Monster Hunter stuff happened today, and we could talk about that. Basically, some Sonic content and other things are coming. Uh, they didn't talk as much about you know some break for next summer as I wanted them to, uh, but still, there's some cool stuff happening there. But we're not going to focus on that because we have a developing story, and this developing story is about the Switch Pro. Yes, folks, the Switch Pro. I already have a Switch sitting back here that none of you guys have. Um, and now we're talking about a new one before this one's even officially released. Yesterday, we broke a story from Bloomberg where Takahashi Mashizuki uh, came out and basically said he knows 11 different studios that are right now working on Nintendo Switch 4K games and have Nintendo Switch 4K dev kits. Nintendo, almost immediately after publication, oh, not quite immediately, but within the hour, we, we recorded our video about 10 minutes after publication. Uh, Nintendo had a tweet out an hour later, uh, and this was Nintendo's corporate account, came out and literally denied the entire Bloomberg report. Here's what they said. A news report on September 30th, 2021, falsely claims that Nintendo is supplying tools to drive game development for a Nintendo Switch with 4K support. To ensure correct understanding among our investors and customers, we want to clarify that this report is not true. We also want to restate that as we announced in July, we have no plans for any new model other than the Nintendo Switch OLED model, which will launch on October 8th. So again, there was a, oh, we have this thing. And also, mm, by the way, no, we don't. So Bloomberg and Takahashi, who was blasted by Nintendo this last summer, came out, defended himself, and he even named Zynga. And Nintendo saying, nope, you're wrong. You're just wrong. It is what it is. Then the story didn't stop there. Game Reactor today 
came out and was talking about Bloomberg's article, and in an article on the Bloomberg piece and Nintendo's response, they said they have their own independent source at a AAA studio that claims to be building a 4K Switch game right now. Right after that came out, within an hour, Zynga, corporate Zynga, releases an official statement to Kotaku and entirely denies having any sort of Nintendo Switch 4K dev units. Because that was obviously something that Bloomberg claimed. And they literally came out and said, nope, no, we don't. Now, was this at the behest of Nintendo? Was this them responding to rumors? Most companies don't respond to rumors. I'm guessing Nintendo in a nudge, nudge, you need to, you need to, you know, deny or whatever. Uh, we don't know. That's all behind the scenes stuff. But, okay, fine. So we have a denial by Nintendo, a denial by Zynga. And then we have two big media outlets with reputations on the line saying that Nintendo's full of shit, Zynga's full of shit, these games are coming. 4K dev kits are real, and they have them. Nate the Hate, Natrick said, you know, that they've, been, ha they've had them since early last year. So has Imran Khan. There's been a number of people who have said this, but, again, a lot of you out there are ready to just say, Nate, screw you, I'm never watching a video again. But then Nintendo did an oopsie. Right after Zynga denied having these dev kits. Remember the order. Bloomberg, 11 companies making Switch 4K games have access to 4K dev kits. Nintendo denies. Game Reactor throws more wood on the fire and says, we also know a developer that has a 4K dev kit. Zynga denies. So again, Switch Pro is real. Switch Pro is fake. Switch Pro is real. Switch Pro is fake. And then Nintendo did noopsies. One of the big rumors surrounding Switch Pro and that, that 4K support had nothing to do with native 4K support. Yes, there'll be a 4K output to a TV, but it's not native. Nobody's around here thinking that there's a portable Switch coming, whether it's next gen or even, you know, a pro model that is going to have 4K native support. And it was always attached with DLSS, which is Deep Learning Super Sampling, AKA a way to upscale games through AI. And guess what Nintendo patented today, right after Zynga denied? Two separate patents have been filed by Nintendo for AI upscaling to 4K. Now, the image I'm gonna show you here is an example they give of it upscaling from 540p to 1080p. But in the actual documentation, in both of them, it mentions upscaling to 4K. And how it describes the upscaling done is essentially exactly how DLSS does it. Now, these patents are supposedly, these technology is being worked on in France. I don't know if it's NVIDIA and Nintendo working on it together there or what's happening uh, with it. But what is clear in these patents is that they've been working on this technology since 2019. This dates back to before the pandemic. Remember when all the Switch Pro rumors started going around? Seems like this kind of all lines up. This is official. These are real patents filed by Nintendo. Now, patents don't necessarily become real products, but I'm just pointing out that Nintendo denied something and then confirmed something literally within 24 hours. And that confirmation was that they are working on 4K DLSS type upscaling for a device that at least in the actual stuff appears to be a switch device, but yeah, let's just say whoops. And to everyone out there that keeps telling me such a device doesn't exist. Look, it could be a next gen device. It could be a device that did exist, but will never come out. I don't know. What I do know is Nintendo literally confirmed accidentally, probably that they are working on this technology after telling us that everyone else is full of shit. <sighs> it's almost as if Zynga, Nintendo, and others have reasons to deny that help their pocketbooks. And it's almost like it's hard to believe corporate overlords. I think it's quite obvious that no matter how much we love certain companies, when it comes to the corporate level, they're always watching out for the bottom line, and anything they say needs to be taken in that context. That being said, give me your thoughts on all this new information. I have all the sources for all this stuff linked down in the description. You can go verify this all yourself. 
You guys have a lovely day. Personally, I'm getting back to playing on OLED. I know there's going to be some quick thoughts that people might want on this at the end of the video. Here's what I'll say about Switch OLED right now. I have a very hard time after playing this going back to the other Switches. It almost hurts my eyes. Um, so maybe don't get an OLED if you are happy with your current Switch because this will make you feel like you've been missing out. Um, let's just say the, that OLED panel difference is real. Like, this is maybe the most worthy XL version of a Nintendo platform I have seen to date. That's what I, that's what I can tell you right now. Tune in tomorrow. We have a much more in-depth uh, video coming tomorrow. Uh, we literally took this thing apart. We actually broke part of it. We'll get into that tomorrow. Um, almost broke the dock too, but then we didn't. I don't know. We have a lot more on the Switch OLED coming tomorrow. There's a, a huge video in the works right now in editing. It has 1.2 terabytes worth of footage going into it. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'll catch you guys in the next video.